going on everybody I'm AZ Tech and today we got The Last of Us Part 2 so anybody that knows me knows that this is probably my favorite game of all time uh, part one that's right up there along with it but uh, this one's pretty pretty fun I remember pre-ordering this game months before it was due out right when I saw the release date I pre-ordered it I was waiting for it for years uh, after the first one was released I played that 2014 about a year after it was released and as soon as I finished it I, I couldn't wait for part two to come out and 2016 I think they dropped the first trailer uh, re just talking about it and announcing it and from 2016 to 2020 man I, I couldn't wait for this game to come out it is highly um, controversial game this game is so up and down with uh, all the fans and everybody there's a lot of people that hated it and a lot of people that liked it and it has a lot to do with the story so this is the third time that I've played it personally and I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this playthrough a little bit more casual have a little bit of fun just kinda of relax with it and not gonna go deep dive in for everything and because I've already done that before and uh, the first time I played it I played it like anybody else would play it on their first playthrough just enjoyed it soaked it in the second time I played it I just went through everything found every little detail found all the diaries all the um, notes and everything along the way all the collectibles so this one is just gonna be to have you guys come along with me and experience it this is a fantastic game and I definitely can't wait to get back into this so let's get going with it there we go naughty dog game I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. You go halfway across the country with someone. I like how they redid this her immunity. graphics in PS4 style graphics because this was originally a PS3 game. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old. The first one was. Cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. Doctor plays a very key role in this game. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Tommy. Jesus Christ, Joe. What do you do? Yes, he did. I would have done the same exact thing, too. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Cover the exit. Don't let him get away. Shit.
and she believed you. No, I don't think she did. I didn't say otherwise. We should head back. Just the graphics, you know, looks great. And that music kicks in, you know, just what they did with the with the audio here is amazing as well. That like Gustavo guy knows what he's doing. Oh, look at the, the sun come through. Yeah, Naughty Dog is on top of their game for sure with these graphics. It started with Uncharted 4, and this is back in 2015, and those graphics were amazing and would probably hold pretty true to a lot of newer games now too. But this is four or five years later, and we're talking 2020 release, and these graphics just keep getting better. The way that these horses move right here. Yeah, they, they, these things are pretty realistic. And that water too. Looks amazing. in until the cutscene happens. It's crazy how in-game cutscenes are now basically done by the game engine itself. That's how far we've come along. There are no cutscenes okay. anymore. Everything no. is all in the sure. game engine. what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. That's pretty cool. He's a good brother. I'll see you later. There he is, Mr. Druckmann. This game has won so many Game of the Year awards in 2020. It has more awards now than any game in history. Witcher 3 was the top one, and this one surpassed it now with more game awards, whether it be Game of the Year, visual design, story, whatever. Hello. Ellie? 
that song that she's listening to is from the very first trailer, the announcement trailer. heart attack. I tried knocking, but... Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are... You know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. Yeah. This is directly after the events of the first game right Tommy here. Tommy and I went out riding the other day and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke and I, I thought about you, so, um, oh shoot, no, I forgot it, uh, tell him about a clock, how do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm gonna get out of your hair. I just, um. I, I wanna show you something. Just give me one second. What's this? Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. takes a lot to sing a song like that in front of somebody. There you go. Well, that didn't suck. <laughs> Very Ellie-like response there. She's yours. First thing I about promise this. that I teach you how to play. You did. So what do you say tomorrow night? First lesson? Yeah, at the end of the first game he told her he was gonna teach her how to play. Kinda cool that he okay. keeps his end of the deal there. Did 
you remember the joke? It's a good spot where they show a really good facial animation. What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> it's really dumb. Yeah. Good night, kiddo. I like how he says that. You can tell something's wrong with Ellie, though. cool thing here is that's the robot from Sam in the first game when Sam gave Ellie the robot. She still has it. That's pretty cool. Hey, is Joel up? That sucks. Shut up. I was about to get up. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. <sighs> she kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word? Yep. Then Joel Decton. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night. Yeah, why would she get mad at Joel? Sounds exciting. For trying to protect her. That part confuses me. Hey, so we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are here. I know. It was just... I don't want you to think... Ellie. We're cool. Promise. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> little timer. Yeah, get a good scratch. This is actually uh, Gustavo, the guy that makes all the music for The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part Two. Kind of cool that they put him in the game. And this, I guess, is something very similar to what his real dog looks like as well. Kind of neat that they did that for him. Hey, Jesse. Oh, hi. Want 
grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. You know, for a bar at like six six thirty in the morning, it's pretty busy. Excuse me. Find that to be a little weird. There you are. Come here. That's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me. Please. Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. Hey. Uh, look, last night I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. Made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. Thank you, Seth. Definitely didn't see yeah. that guy being an older guy like that. What do you say, Doctor? That's a little awkward. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bacon sandwiches. Mm. Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. These boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? You go up to the Northwest Lookout. They're scheduled to arrive later today. Watch I like yourself. this little town that they have. Of infected uh, kind of sheltered away of from all the infected. I was going to check out the creek trail. Slash school I'll here. someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dean has done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that solves that. Ellie. Can I talk to you for a sec? What's up? Look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria. Guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, Dina! Assignments! <clears throat> Just give me a minute! You get your girlfriend at the stables, please. Hey, Dina. Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys. I'm tapping out. Come on. How long? Whew. Hey. Hey. Um... I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's it's okay. I totally get it. I <laughs> I just I feel bad. Why? I cuz I started the whole thing and I just I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. I don't know, you were drunk. It's fine. Well, still, I just I don't want you to think No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just You know what I love about you? Now you let me finish my sentences. Well, we should probably get going. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? Yeah, I do. You asked for it! No, like you better part. run, you little shits! Holy shit! Get to cover! Go! Go! Uh, gotcha! We're on the board, <laughs> suckers! <sighs> Eat that! Ooh, ow! Coming for you, yeah. Tommy. <laughs> I'm on that kid. Oh, oh, suck it! I'm gonna come over there and fight you, like for real. <laughs> I'm just throwing it at the same kid over and over. Stay, you little shit. We're winning. No. Oh, oh. Ah. Eat snow. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> ow! I know where you live, Alex. Jesus. See you. Oh. oh okay. 
Ow! Who taught you that? Ha! Oh, you better hide. No fair! Eat it, shrimps! Hey! How's it feel? <laughs> no! Get her! Get help me! You'll never get away with this! <laughs> get off of her, you monsters! <laughs> all right, all right, we actually have some work to do. Aww, Scram. man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Let's go. So, Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. Morning, girls. Morning. Hey, ladies. I'll bring him in. Thank you. This is where the fun begins. They're gonna head out with the horses, go out onto the creek trails, and look for any infected. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. Decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle, you come back. Be smart about. All right, get going. Yeah. For some of the people that say that they don't think that Ellie and Dina's relationship is accurate or true. That it's kind of forced. I, I don't see that at all. I definitely see the connection that they have together. Say hello to Abby. Yeah, this is uh, an area of the game that is very highly criticized. And I know for me, the fact that you end up playing as Abby for half this game, that really upset me. This is a Joel and Ellie game, not an Ellie and Abby game. And I, just, I didn't think that they took the right route with that. What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. She's definitely jacked, I'll tell you that. It's like Ronda Rousey. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. Do this when the sun's out and it's warmer. No, 
Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. What are you doing wandering around out here by yourself? Been restless. You too? I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. That's something that you want to keep going. I always wondered, like the, the farther the south that we go, they'd I've say. Thought about it. Like where were they before? You know, this <laughs> yeah, is I don't see that living up Jackson, to Wyoming. Somewhere. You know, like, were they up in Canada or that. something? I always wondered that. You did all this in the dark. Yes. Now come on. We keep going like this. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. Not that far. Is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. <laughs> Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. <laughs> you wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. <laughs> Ouch. We can't all be as graceful as you. Clearly. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Shit. Hey. Eyes on me. Abby. Stop looking down. Owen. Do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. first saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost so definitely out over there after somebody a few more outposts in between that looks to be like jackson they have electricity well i know guns. what it is but and get confirmation and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information. <laughs> well, then we make them. You hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Should I say congrats? Everyone else sees this. They're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Yeah, me. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't! Definitely doesn't like that. Oh, Mel being pregnant. You can tell that there's something between them two.
short hike. That's something where they added into this game is the prone ability. You never were able to go prone in the first one, so I think that they added quite a few little features that made part two a lot better in part one. And that's just one of them right there. Headshot there. Good start. Where's that lookout? <clears throat> Sneak up behind these people, this person here, nice and slow. Go, go, go. 
go? Why will it not go? Okay, I gotta run. That did not go too well. time climbing underneath that truck. We are going to try a little bit different route this time. So I might have to take some of these guys more out. about this stuff. I don't know. It didn't feel... You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because there isn't much to talk about. Yow. I just, I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. I think she does. <laughs> no, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Yeah, that is where she got her tattoo and from. And I think she wasn't right for you. That covers up her bite mark. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. You can tie Shimmer up here. <laughs> hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're gonna point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, brother. Come on, stupid. Check out in here first. Oh, well, there's a couple of things in here. Hey, 
think of this view, huh? Pretty nice, isn't it? It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, this route has its perks. Where are we signing? <laughs> Come on. It's a good spot for a photo viewer to take a bunch of pictures. Very cool stuff here. Who do you used to do this route with? Jesse? Me, Gene. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Man, he was funny. Oh, yeah. Plus, he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. And we all be that sharp at 73. And we all make it to 73. I'm gonna guess this bong was Eugene's. Ha, it's mine. He gave it to me. Hey, do you have any on you, actually? Oh, I wish. Eugene always had some on him. kind of neat right here you get to see everybody that has gone through this route before with Dina and Eugene and Jesse and Dina Tommy and Joel kind of cool to, that they uh, write everything down tell them what they found nice log this is pretty cool actually come here town up ahead's our last stop take a look There's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep, that's where the next lookout is. Let's get back to the horses. Question. Are you wearing those same clothes yesterday? <gasps> They're clean. Definitely love the tracks in the snow that the horses make. I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? No, oh, from old age. Like living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. You know how you're gonna die? Let me guess. You're gonna kill me? <laughs> Did I ruin your punchline? No. Maybe. Fuck you. Sorry. Hey, should we check these houses out? <laughs> Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. What do you know about this place? Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. 
We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. These trailers are neat. Nice little portable home. Do you think people really travel a lot in these things? Well, wouldn't you? I mean, if I'd lived pre-outbreak, yeah. See the whole Crazy country. how they they've never seen the world before the outbreak. That's kind of my opening there. Ooh, I don't have this one. Isn't it one of those superhero cards you're all into? <coughs> oh yeah. Jesse talked a lot about going to Canada. He said there's these like giant waterfalls out there he wanted to see. Really? Yeah, He's that's such a another Jackson guy. Another e um, mention of Canada again. So that's something where going back to the fireflies and then saying the further south that uh, we go. The temperature dropped. I don't know. I, I right. emphasize. I feel like there's something to do with Canada. The fireflies. And everybody there, I wonder if that's uh, yeah, easy like a safe haven place. Shit. What the fuck? Oh, that smell. Looks like infected. That's from place. the trailer as well. How many do you think it would take to bring down a moose? A lot. One. one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Alright, it's time to pick some people out. Dina, this way. Runner. That's crazy how the blood goes slinging again. I love Let's that go. part. That's one. Let's see if we can get around it. Good idea. Bricks are definitely something that you should utilize yeah. often when nice being attacked because you can stun these people Thanks. with those bricks and then stab them. And Ellie's got that infinite the way we came in like shiv. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah, that's a good question. Dina, this way. Let's keep it quiet. <laughs> here and then we'll go inside get the other ones I definitely want to pull him away from this window that way those other people didn't see me Like it. 
We've still got to get the ones in the supermarket. Let's keep circling the building. There's got to be a way in. Do that. Want to look around? All right, go ahead. <clears throat> um, there's a hole in the roof over there. Here. <clears throat> Thanks. Look, see? All right, let's figure out how to get in there. Under here. Yeah, going back to what I had done wrong the last time is I wasn't holding circle down, I was tapping it twice. And then all that does is crouch down and then get right back up. What I was trying to do when I was climbing under that truck during that fight scene with Abby is I wasn't holding circle down. I, that's where I made my mistake. Ellie? Are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I do remember where some of these supplies no. are at, though. Cool. So I will try to pick some stuff up, but I'm not going to go super out of my way to get every little thing. Actually, yeah. That's right, she hasn't told Dina yet that she's immune. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, that was cute. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Yep. Is this part of the supermarket? I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. Combo is the date of my good boy got employee of the month. That's the uh, dog that's on the wall. So we're gonna have to, I think, get a good look again what picture he was on here. So employee of the month looks like July 2013. So good boy would be the dog. I remember that part. So July 2013. And I believe that's the combo to this lock in here. The safe. So zero seven. 
20, 15. Yep. Oh, shit. could technically leave my light on while searching through this area, but we have to go super slow because they hear every little tiny detail. Especially now that I have it on hard. It's going to be more sensitive yet. So literally creeping on the ground like this is what you have to do. If you move anything faster than this, they're going to hear you. He actually got alerted to me, but I saved it. Okay. Wow, that was... I almost got caught there. That was crazy. Let's pick up this bottle. Alright, now if he sees me, or uh, hears me, then I'm going to chuck this bottle out on the stone. Alright, nice and slow. These blind motherfuckers make my skin crawl. <laughs> Dina, will help. that you like to use against the Careful clickers. Careful with that. I'm a pro. We're not mm -hmm. done. Alright, so... Here. What do you think? Gotta take out... The first. Yes, gotta take out the runners first. <laughs> Get this one here, and then there should be another one up here. Got him. This time I'd want my lights off. That clicker hears everything. Hopefully, he doesn't see me. Alright, let's get back to cover. Very difficult spot. So, I do know that if I get alerted, there is another runner inside of this cooler area. So I want to go in there and take him out first. This kind of helps my odds if I do get alerted. Nice and slow. Oh, geez. 
Jesus. What did he really even do to me? I didn't see him bite me. Huh. Oh, okay, so they start me right here. I did not even see him bite me, though. That was awkward. So let's go back in here, kill this clicker. Or, uh, the runner. I think there's a runner in here, not a clicker. Let's get this runner first. And then wait for that clicker to come around the wall. Actually, I have a different plan. I'm gonna go back this way. Oh. And I'm gonna try to lure the two clickers together. Actually worked really well. And he's still moving. I like that. That worked really good. Uh nope. You know what? I'm impressed with us. I won't budge. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna Curl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Cable here. There we go. Yeah. That should hold us. Get over. Fuck yeah. Okay, that's good. Here I go. Careful when you get up here. It's pretty windy. Over here. Run him over. really got to have a crummy time in the snow like this. I mean, you can barely see right now. Come on. There you go. detail there with Ellie putting up her hood you know they didn't have to go that far but to show that she's cold this and getting, worse. getting hammered with the snow to throw her hood up is pretty it. pretty cool that they We're added that there. in makes it a little more realistic I know girl I know keep going Dina how much further Door. 
you been here? Rode by it. Never came inside. has to be Eugene's. Huh. This is uh, Eugene's. Definitely Eugene's place. Panda. He was a firefighter. Firefighter Planda. He served with Tommy. I had no idea. Yeah. They got into some real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ, killed three soldiers. This is pretty cool right here. This is going back to the first game with the giraffe scene. He also told me that with the stuffed animal he here, that's pretty cool that they have that. Yes, uh, before anybody general. wonders, I, I, I never finished my initial playthrough of the first Make Last of Us. Worse. Definitely want to go back and uh, finish that off. I'm pretty sure I should Angel. still have the save game. Did a lot to survive and it'd be pretty easy to pick right back up and try to finish that off as well. Got an old school fat PS3, Uncharted 2, and Jack and Daxter. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. It's Tommy and Eugene. They look like babies here. It's got a graphics card there. Lights, soldering iron, hard drive, and a case fan. There's gotta be a generator That's pretty cool. here somewhere. Working on a laptop, it looks like. Right there. Or maybe a, that uh, could be a desktop computer, I'm not sure. Sitting on a... Okay. Alright, let's start generator. up this generator. Workbench, Eugene. I bet you could mod your gun with this gear. I really do like how they did this workbench where they put the gun on the table and inspect it and allow you to do your modifications right at the table like this. That looks like a Beretta 9mm. Maybe a MX or M9 maybe? I can't remember, but it sure does look like a Beretta to me. Yeah, this will work. Oh, hello. Eugene's family. That's kind of cool. Ellie, look at the floor. Got the space heater There's on, no and we got the light there. coming up through the floor. You see a way down? Mm, not here. I know. It's over here. Follow me. Come on. down here. Well, it's obviously a sex den. That's why he didn't tell you about it. I hope it's a sex den. For his sake. He was so lonely, man. Oh my god. It's weed. That's a lot of dead weed. Hey. 
about that videotape thing? Huh. Dong of the Wolf. Smash Brandy's Cooch. Are these? It's porn. <laughs> Interesting taste, Eugene. You know, Crash Bandicoot. Get that. That's kind of cool. Dina, it's a gas mask bomb. Oh, God, he was so smart. Oh, there we go. You think it's still good? Does weed go bad? Hmm. Let's find out. <laughs> you having a hard time? No, I got it. Give me that. Oh, yeah, like you're gonna get it. <sighs> okay, it's, yeah. Oh, fuck it. What oh, the fuck is wrong with you? I got it open, didn't I? Question? I don't know, can you? Scale of one to ten. One being like absolute trash. And ten being life altering. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Why are we still talking about this? You said it was a mistake. Did I say that? What are you doing? I asked him to rate our kiss. Give it a six. A six? Wow. Like a solid six. Okay. There are a lot of people around. Yeah, but six. Oh. What? I mean, now I really want to know how you do it. What do you think you do? You're infuriating. Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. Don't want to stop it now. This better be better than a six. Safe to say it's probably better than a six. Alright, now we're back as Abby with like 99% of my health gone. This will be interesting. So now this is the spot where you just want to run.
Okay, for these trucks, or trailers. Get away from that person, get away, get away. Alright. Back with a cleanup crew. God damn it! Those fishes are everywhere! We gotta move! Oh, this spot is pretty difficult while we wait for Tommy to be able to move that. That's an odd thing. So really, just the best way to do this spot is to just run around. Crazy. Just trying to start attacking people as much as possible. Grab this pipe. Damn it! That door ain't gonna hold him for long. We need to hurry. Up there, the window! That's our way out! You see a way up there? Here, use this! Hey, girl! Push it up under the cart! We're getting inside! I'll get the gondola to the window! You two keep those infected off of me! Okay! Damn, this thing is heavy! Joe, 
What's your name? Abby. Abby, are you okay? Yeah. Hey, you gotta hold. We gotta go back. We're gonna outrun them all, Lady Jackson. We need to barricade that door. Bobby, we cannot stay here. The horses ain't making it all no, that my way. My friends. My friends are at a mansion just north of here. It's fenced in. We have the whole perimeter secure. It's a ball, please. I can work. All right. I'll get the door. You ride with me. Come on. Go! from underneath me. <laughs> Wait, how did you get the scar? I fell on my knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, a chemical burn. Mm. I died myself. Marks and sis and Ow! Fuck you. What? Uh, hey! <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story. Oh, you want a bite mark? What? Did you hear that? Jesse? <sighs> just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just will What's you wait, going on? please? Mm. What? Just turn around. What are you doing? Are you kidding? You're supposed to be on patrol. There's a blizzard outside. Is that we? Why are you here? People are counting on you, you get that? What we do matters. Well then why aren't you at the fucking lookout? Because Tommy and Joel didn't show up. What do you mean? We waited for them for an hour. I was looking for their horses when I saw lights. Maybe they just went back to town. Without being replaced, no way. How much of their region have you covered? Yeah, he would not. Then we split up. Go at it from Do different this. sides. And we can cover the whole thing in a few hours. I don't like you riding solo. We don't know what's out there. Exactly. What if they need help? Okay, I'll head west. Dina can take south, and you come from the east. But be smart about it, yeah? Yeah.
You want to get those saddles off? No, no, it's all right. We'll just ride out the storm. Yeah, yeah. I've got any brushes Nothing. Hey, you have no idea. I don't get electricity in here. Where the fuck have you been? There are solar panels on the roof. Who are these people? How long y'all been here? Since yesterday. Yesterday? Yep. What are y'all doing out this way? Just passing through. You two live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before we head out. Appreciate it. I'm Mel, brother. Tommy. This is my brother. Joe. You act like you heard of us or something. Because they have. Something was wrong right away. Joel! Tommy! Oh, shit. How do I get down there? for a third time this part never gets any easier at all this is just not a very fun scene to watch Ah! 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 Ah!
can! Get the fuck off me! You got her! Look, you got her! Okay? You're gonna fucking die! What's going on? Let him go. Who is that? Let him she go! She snuck in. Why aren't you posted up outside? We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. What the hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here, before the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. I always wonder what he's trying to say right there. Please stop. Please don't shoot. Joel, please get up. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck you. For any of the people that like Manny, fuck him. I do not like him at all. There's so many ways Ellie. they could have done that differently. I do not agree with how they did that at all. Jesse, they're down here. That's crazy that she had to see the whole thing. That's the hard part. just like destroyed, you know? Sit down, please. Yeah. Maria wants to make sure you're eating. that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. What if we get hit by hunters again? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you or me, Joel would be halfway to Seattle already. No, he would. He absolutely yeah, he would. fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they stole those jackets? That's... That's uh, the WLF move. What are you doing? You know what? 
I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. I'd do the same thing. You have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is, how armed... I don't care. You can't talk me out of this. Give me a day to talk to Maria. Okay? There's gotta be some folks you can spare. You know, she won't budge. Well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. They did do a very good job with um, bringing the emotion out of that scene there. The the voice acting and the and how well that they did there was was very very well. start with that um, first thing is I disagree with how they went on the story there I, if they wanted to you know kill Joel then you know they could have easily done it towards the end of the game this game should have been on Ellie and Joel journey again we should have had more time with both of those characters you don't take the main character from the first game and kill him with the first three hours of the second game. You just don't do that in my opinion. They could have easily done it now. I, From what Naughty Dog was saying, this is a story that they wanted to tell and that's how they had to tell it. But what didn't feel right to me was Joel and Tommy would have never gone to they would have never gone to that place, that house. They would have never told them their names. They would have never invited them to restock. They would have never have done any of that. That's not who they are. They're not that stupid, really, to be honest. And that, to me, felt forced, like they were forcing Joel into that situation so that they could tell the story they had to tell. This should have not have been half the game is Ellie, half the game is Abby. That That's, that's not how you tell this story. They, if they wanted to do what they did, then we should have been able to play as Ellie trying to find Joel throughout the game. Like, they captured Joel, that's fine. And then throughout the game, we're trying to get Joel back. And it, maybe Joel could escape, and we could play as Joel again for a little bit while he escapes. And then Ellie could meet up finally at the end of the game with Abby and have a big fight scene. And Abby could be either killing or choking out Ellie or whatever, and Joel gets free tries to save her and then he dies that would be I would be a lot easier to swallow that than 
to watch one of the main characters, one of my favorite characters of all time, you know, die within the first three hours of the game. He, him and Ellie are by far my two favorite characters. Uh, Nathan Drake in Uncharted and Lara Croft in Tomb Raider as well are some of my other favorites, but there's just so many different ways you could have done that, and that right there is the exact reason why there was so much backlash to this game why so many people hated this game was because of that. There's a lot of people that actually quit playing the game altogether at that exact moment because they were so frustrated with the story and the direction that it went. I, I, I don't agree with it, but that doesn't stop this game from being as good as what it is. It doesn't uh, deny the fact that this game is one of the best games ever made the attention to detail, the graphics, the audio, the the music, the voice acting, the motion capture, it's all top-notch stuff. You can't get any better than this. This is Naughty Dog at its finest. Um, yes, the story was hard to swallow, but it, it's still a very interesting story. It's still fun to play the game and experience it. Like I say, it's my third time through and it, it never really gets old playing the game. Um, it's just super hard to watch that scene. Um, with Joel dying it's it's super difficult but yeah this will do it for the first episode here and we'll try to film up more as quickly as I can but I do work a lot I do work upwards to 50 to 60 hours a week sometimes so I travel a lot for work and it's very difficult for me to get these videos up but I'll try my best to get these uploaded and then also try my best to get done with the first game as well so that'll do it for this episode I, I appreciate you guys watching and until the next video take care mm -hmm.